Hey YouTube, I want to show you my current SCR configuration. Uh, this is actually an Aries SCR lower, so apparently that is now a collector's item since all future SCRs will be bearing the Fight Light name that they changed their company name to recently. So if you find one with the Aries A on it, like I have on this one, snag it. They aren't making anymore. <laughs> I don't know what that's really worth, but hey better than nothing. So my current configuration is what I would call my modern take on maybe a late 1800s, early 1900s lever action. Kind of something comparable to that in terms of setup, except for it is of course semi-automatic based loosely on the AAR. Uh, I had a safe search for a long time on eBay for a field stock or a straight stock for Remington 1100. Finally got a good hit. That was a reasonable price, uh, as you can see on it. When I get out of my own way, uh, the wood here is beautiful. Look, it's walnut. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic. The checkering is perfect. Nothing wrong with it. On either side, look at the detail there. It continues all the way back. Uh, it's just a beautiful piece of wood. The only problem with it, and why it was somewhat cheaper, was that back at the original butt plate uh, there was a little bit of bubbling in the the finish on the wood and that was it and I in, had intended to both shorten the length and pull and also straighten up the the angle back here uh, so that was not a big deal for me I ended up doing that I cut it down I may have cut it a little shorter than I would go next time but it's not too bad uh, and I put on this thin limb saver rubber butt pad uh, it's the kind you can grind to fit, so I've ground it down pretty darn close to fitting. I might change that up at some point because the rubber on it is so sticky that it catches clothes, so I'm not a big fan of that, uh, but we'll see right now it's working. I also have this sort of cowboy leather uh, sling attachment here that I put on just for the fun of it. Got these nice leather ties to see how it would look and also to see if I could add a sling that way. I haven't put the sling on yet, but I do like the feel of it. It's soft on your cheek, and it has that nice leather smell. It's kind of like new car smell. I uh, just love it. It's great. Uh, but uh, we'll see if I keep it there or not. Like I said, the wood under there is perfect, too. Beautiful, so it's kind of a shame to cover it up. We'll see. Kind of like the cowboy feel of it. Uh, to get this stock on, I had to take uh, about, I think it was a three-quarter inch bit, and go down maybe half an inch or so just to fit around there's a small piece that comes out here uh, around where the it's kind of a buffer tube for the rat tail comes down like this on the Remington 1100 it's a little bit smaller maybe 5 eighths of an inch and uh, the Aries SCR is 3 quarters so just bore that out a little bit not very deep and then to get my 19 millimeter socket wrench around the end of the buffer tube buffer tube cap uh, I had to kind of sand that a little bit Otherwise, it would get stuck in there and pull right off my wrench. <laughs> but once I got that on, there was just a tiny bit of fitment to get inside of the end of the receiver here. But I would say very close to a straight mounting of a, of a sock, just like you would on the 1100, other than the boring out that one hole. It's very nice. This uh, the stock feels great. Uh, it is very quick to point. The only issue is your wrist does if you hold it there for a long time it can get a little uncomfortable uh, so it's not something you want to sit there you know watching an area for hours and hours and hours you can do it you just kinda of have to pull your your hand back and have your thumb resting on it just right but for a quick pointed shot a snapshot it is beautiful it's fantastic moving forward I've got the Knights Armament extended mag release when I bring my offhand back comes right down on it so I can take the mag very easily although I do also have a V7 extended mag here which if I'm using my trigger hand I come forward supporting the receiver release it change the mag with my left hand and very quickly bring my hand right back and it is just about as quick as a standard AR mag swap uh, it takes a tiny bit to get used to but it is really it's a lot easier and smoother than you would think and you can keep your eye pretty well on target. So I've been working on that. I think that may be the way I end up going. I prefer something a little bit longer here, but most of them actually go down 
for the AR and I want it to come up so may have to have something custom made while I'm on this side I have the V7 ultralight dust cover and the V7 titanium pins to keep it a little bit lighter going back to the other side again the uh, Aries SCR so you got the A logo there I've got the Badger extended bolt release uh, there I went back I, I took the uh, S2 selector switch I had on off and put the push button safety back on it in part because it fit the style better and in part because the execution of using the S2 on this receiver again not S2's fault it's not designed for this receiver was close it was good enough to show that the ideal would work but it was not perfect for how I would want it so I went back to the push button style not a big deal uh, the upper receiver is a two-way armaments uh, Belios light so it has a nice relief here to reduce the weight very very lightweight feels great looks great I love the lower on the Belios light tube but obviously uh, in New York State that becomes problematic <laughs> so I went with the SCR at the top of the receiver I have a V7 charging handle and I have the Badger extended release so that I can get around my optic it works very well and at the top of the V7 has reliefs cut in it that are very similar to the styling on the Belios light so I like that my optic I went with the Burris MTAC uh, the one power on this is great very close to a true one power especially once you get about 10 feet out and there's very little distortion and the reticle is very red dot like uh, the, the original here has kind of a minimalist look to it versus the more modern version they came out with later uh, so I went with that one but it does make this very difficult to rotate um, they improved that on the later models so I have to get something to put on that a throw to improve that moving forward continue on with the two-way armament Belios light which gives you the relief cuts in the top of the Picatinny that match the upper receiver perfectly this itself is actually a collector's item you can see right here it has a little ridge around the M-lock slots that were really nice detail that two-way armaments had the precision manufacturing capability to do well uh, Magpul said that's great that you do we really appreciate it but we don't want other companies that don't have that capability to think that they can mess with the standard so would you please not put that on there anymore and two-way armaments was happy to oblige and so all the later ones do not have that so if you find one that has the raised lip it's actually that was the very first run and there are very few of them out there this is a 12 inch technically it's actually about 11 and 3 quarters which you'll notice my gas block does stick out ever so slightly here for a true 12 inch it wouldn't uh, this is the battle arms development super duper light I think it's 0.42 ounces or something ridiculous like that uh, titanium gas block and the tips just barely stick out not a big deal I don't mind it at all I have these uh, oh man I'm gonna have to put a, a note on this uh, company that makes these because they're a great company to deal with the name is escaping me right now but these are fantastic they're, they're not actually wood they just look like it but uh, they feel great they stay on there really well they're just great on lock covers and they fit the, the style slightly different tone if you will than the stock itself it's a little bit lighter but I actually could try putting stain on this I haven't yet uh, the owner there was great and sent me some to play with so uh, I can't say enough good things about the company itself other than the fact I can't say the name right now and uh, the product these are these are great right now I have a little bit of Picatinny rail here that I mounted uh, my WML flashlight to because I do use it for home defense it comes off very quickly and easily I might get one of those I think it's kinetic mounts that you can push in and it pops right off uh, the M-lock mount so I might try that or I have a, a Surefire uh, actually on the other side a Surefire M-lock mount so we have a Surefire flashlight right up at 10 o'clock I haven't really decided which way I'm going to go on that I would like to have a flashlight for practical purposes but for the style of rifle I like to be kind of minimal impact 
The barrel itself is a Rainier Arms uh, Rock Creek Blank uh, intermediate gas system, so that's why it's sticking out here. Mid length would be back here. So it's the intermediate, which is about as long as you can go on a 16 inch barrel reliably. Uh, so it is a 16 inch. This is 0.625 Cleveland Gas Box Journal, so it's sort of a lightweight but consistent profile. Definitely feels solid, really well made. The only thing I'm not a fan of on it is the finish and I had this custom made uh, thread protector that is the exact same outside diameter uh, pinned and welded so that it's kind of a continuous barrel and I want to actually have the whole thing refinished uh, dark gray or black uh, to fit the style a little bit better I just haven't gotten to it that, at this point so that's where I am right now this is the basic rifle flip it over real handy points extremely quickly with the straight stock not something you want to sit behind for you know hours kind of crooks your wrist a little bit but you can get a reasonably comfortable grip and like I said it points faster even than I think any AR I've ever tried for magazines because where I live I have five round magazines sucks <laughs> uh, these are the Brownells kind of they're a minimal size, they're a true five round magazine uh, with a waffle to give it some length on an AR. Kind of fits the style uh, with the Baileus light here, but I also have one where I've cut the waffle down so it's just a base plate, and then you're left with something that really gives it a nice kind of slim profile, a very handy rifle. So I may do that to more of them. If you do ever need to buy these for hunting or because of where you live, You'll notice the yellow followers, the gray ones that come in it are terrible. Literally every other round jammed. Uh, so these are Magpul followers. Pekka 3 is very cheap. These mags aren't very expensive. So it wasn't too bad to do. And you just have to know how long to cut them off. If you cut it off too short, you're going to have issues because there isn't a lot of extra room in a five round magazine body. So you got to get it just right so that it just gets five in there. Little bit of play, not much. If you go a little bit further than that, you're you're gonna have issues. So uh, they are not bad magazines. Just gotta cut these right and set them up right. But once you have them, they work if you need a five-round magazine. So that's my SCR. Hope you like it. If I do anything different with it, I'll uh, update the video.